Okay, so this is Roger, the base model for the anal gland expression and rectal palpation model that I'm working on. He's just an IKEA soft toy dog, so you could use any soft toy dog to make this model. Um, so the interesting end of Roger is, of course, the cordial end. So Roger is constructed by taking apart the original seam at the bottom. And then what I've done is inserted a um, hook side of Velcro into the dog and used the loop part of the Velcro to create a removable and insertable uh, anal sphincter, which is actually a tea towel holder um, available online. So that allows me to get in and out of the model easily to check it and maintain it. You can see that there is just a, a soft wire architecture inside, which is holding the tea towel holder in position. And then the 16 gauge, 16 FR gauge catheter has been um, routed through to just be gently held in position again with the wire armature. Now you can see here that there's the, the end of the catheter has been removed and secure, securely sealed with a cable tie. Behind that, you can see an elastic band, which is just one of the loom bands that children use to make bracelets. The loom band is what functions as a pressure valve. So when you fill the bulb and apply pressure from um, the base up, it will express above that band, which correlates to the hole through the Velcro on the other side. So the root of the catheter just runs inside my dog and then down to the distal limb, um, which we have provided some uh, bandaging, which is been used and reused a few times I'm afraid where we can access the port which would normally be used to inflate the catheter with air but is actually being used in this case to inflate with just simply water and um, so I'm going to do that for you now. So here you can see the bulb inflated with water and you can see how that loom band acts as a stopper so that then when we press um, up behind the anal gland we can express as you can see there and you have to press from the bottom to the top um, to, to, to get that expression to occur. So um, hopefully this video has been helpful in explaining a little bit of how I got to where I got with my model. Um, he does also feature a genuine canine pelvis which has a prostate fitted which we can change, which I can do another video talking about. Um, areas for improvement would be really this armature in the back here um, and potentially if someone has better sewing skills than I do um, at fitting that into the model. Um, if you make your own Roger, please let me know. Um, I'm part of the Nottingham University Vet School, so you can find my details by Googling Emma Drink All, which is just drink an A-double-L, as in I drink all the water. Um, and let me know if you've made him, if you've made any improvements. Um, it'd be great to see where Roger ends up or his relatives end up. You can also find me on Twitter at E underscore drink all, um, where I'll be talking about my work with clinical skills simulations. Um, good luck with your builds, guys. I'd love to see them. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.